Hey guys, my name is Gloria Okafo. I'm an actress. I'm from Anambra State, Nairobi precisely. Born from a family of five, which happens to be the first. Um, I graduated from Federal University of Agriculture, Makodi, Benue State. Um, I read statistics and computer science. Um, I'm, I'm just a simple lady. I'm a hard-working lady, yes, because my mom always says, if you don't please yourself, who will? Um, I'm a filmmaker, I'm an actress, um, and I'm also a producer. And um, to the glory of God, it's been wonderful and it's been nice. Wow! My journey into Nollywood would say it's all about grace. Anybody that knows me, anybody that has been with me for years will know that God's grace was on me. It all started like years back when, um, I don't know, I just, my mom is into the entertainment life. She always has this children variety she does for NCA Makodi. She's just this woman that doesn't, she likes, she expresses herself through entertainment. There's this um, show she does, children variety. So I was always going with her even as a child, you know, and she just gave me this vibe, you know, this thing. So one day I, I was in Makodi because I was, I'm based in Makodi, Benue State before I came down to Lagos in your service. And um, I just saw something, an audition and all that. I just decided to go for it. And from Makodi, Benway State, you can imagine how this time was. But I just told my mom, mom, I want to go for this. And I thank God for my parents because they, get, they are the best thing that ever happened to me. They gave me their love and their support. So I came down and that's how the journey started from auditions. I went for that audition, but I wasn't called. That's alone. I just told myself, I'm not giving up. So I just, I, just, I tried the audition. It didn't work out. So I just relaxed. I told a friend of mine about it that we really want to be going to the entertainment industry. She was like, fine, no problem. You're good. You know, you, you have good vocals, you speak well, and you dress well, and you're good for the screen. And um, one day I was just at home, and then she just told me, girl, can you just come and sit and see me and all that? So, fine. I just said, okay, let's go. So, when I went there, funny enough, the particular actress they were waiting for wasn't, you know, available at that moment. And the producer just told me, Hey girl, please, can you just come and do one or two things for me? Let's see how. And funny enough, I did it and I was so, so, I was always surprised at myself. And that was how it started. From there, the movie came out and I just kept getting recommendations from producers. Um, as an actress, the challenges I actually faced, you know, first was the distance. Before I relocated to Lagos, you know, I always had this distance problem like, when a producer calls you for a movie and the next thing they ask you, where are you? And I tell them, I'm far away, Abuja, I'm far away being with you. They're like, oh, sorry, I need someone in Lagos. So that was actually um, a challenge. In fact, that was the biggest challenge I ever had um, while, you know, acting, the early age and all that. Um, aside that, the challenge also, which I think is still there, you, you as an actress, and let me show that, an actress, Though, when you try to talk to them or talk to producers and tell them, ah, oh, then, ah, I'm a good actor, they'll be like, no, uh, they really want to work with people who already know, definitely nobody wants to like risk his or her money. You know, that alone is enough challenge for them to like believe in you that you can do something. So, and to God be the glory, today everything is history. Well, apart acting, I'm a very good singer. I sing and um, I'm really working towards that. But aside that, um, I have love for singing you know i'm really working towards that then aside that i do one or two things like i'm into um but this deodorants and all that which i really want to have a label for myself and i'm really working towards that then aside that also i spend much time with my family that would be when i went to a particular market in lagos to go and buy something when i got there they were like please i'm not even supposed to price I should just pick that thing with the amount it told me and I should just, I shouldn't even price at all. I'm not, in fact, there's no room for prizes. And funny enough, <laughs> I did not even price. <laughs> I just picked it there and I gave them the money and that was it. So it's always like when you're going out to pick up something or get something, they're like, you don't, you expect like actors, actresses who are very extremely rich and all that. So. Actually, I just finished the project um, Pages in Between, which I featured um, likes of Kalikago, Paul Sambo, Esther Aoudou, Brian Emanuel, and uh, I'm working. In fact, let me not even say anything on this project. Just let me not say anything. Just know that something big is really coming to your screen. No! No! <laughs> no! I'm innocent! I'm innocent! I'm innocent! Innocent of what? Did I say that? You said it twice. 
It was, it was just a dream. Isiji, what are you hiding? Well, um, Nollywood industry has come of age, I must say. Knowing fully where, looking at where we started from, you know, from the, should I say, the Alaba part of it, definitely those people are not really left out of it. All thanks go to them because most of all the stars we see today really came out from there. You know, the Nollywood industry has really gone wild. Most people now indulging to production. People who are not even into entertainment, they just want to go into it. And for it, it's, it's actually a very good source of, you know, in investment to them. And it has really given open, you know, more rooms and doors for people to invest, most especially the ladies. One of the days when you see ladies killing yourself, tell, oh, this producer, no, 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 no. But now you see a lady who has that thinking faculty, she, she has something at heart, she, she, she just want to go and do something. And funny enough, we have lots and wonderful female producers to do in the entertainment industry. So it's really a big terms of for Nollywood. And now the story, everything, Nollywood has gone places and it's still going places and will continue to go places. All thanks to everyone. So let me use myself as um, for example. The first thing that's kept me going to now is self-determination. Aside me being an actress, actress I told myself, being an actress, I can also use one stone to kill three birds, which includes being an actress, being a producer, and also a, a, it's another source of income for me. You know, being, an, being a female producer, I wouldn't say it's not easy because we find out that most of all the female producers, uh, most of all the uh, producers we have today, majority are the male um, um, producers. But one thing keeps me going and that would be self-determination. Whenever I want to pick up a project or whenever I have something, I tell myself I will do this. And to the glory of God, I'm, I end up doing it very fine. But when I want to do a movie, I just look up the three things. I look up to my good storyline, good actors and good picture qualities of the movie. So when you, if the movie comes out, people will actually have something to learn. You know, most people just do movies today because they just want to do this, they just want to take pictures, I'm on set, I just want to take pictures, yes, I have the money to shoot. But I do things like, fine, you have a story, bring it out through the movies, bring it out to the entertainment, through the screen, people should watch. Definitely, lives will definitely be touched and you pass that message across. <laughs> I think my selling point would be my smile. And uh, my selling point also be my eyes. Should I say my eyes? Yes, my eyes. Because most people tell me often, I love your smile, I love your eyes, and definitely I don't reveal parts of my body, I don't do that. You know? So I think that's it. Um, one of the five things I think people should know about me is hmm, if I want to take a decision, if you like, preach from today to tomorrow. If I want to do that thing, I will do it. If I don't want to do it, I won't do it. Then, secondly, I love. I can't eat, I don't know, I find it difficult eating rice alone. I must eat it with either beans, you know, to balance the pressure. Mm -hmm. Then thirdly, um, I love, should I say, I love heels. If, <laughs> you can't catch me without heels, except maybe I just want to go casual and all that. Then, um, my friends, I, I, I take them at heart. Whoever I call my friend, whoever, I don't joke with them. No matter what, I just... Then! I don't joke with love for humanity. I'm a humanitarian and no matter what happens, no matter where I am, if I see someone who is in need or whatever, I don't even, even if it's five naira that is in my pocket, as far as I have it, I would definitely ask it so.